This clip is sponsored by American Mobile. If you're a nurse interested in traveling, visit AmericanMobile.com to get started. The primary way that we're relating to death in, in this culture is through the healthcare system. Right. And that puts a huge burden on care providers that, that I don't really think we're adequately prepared to attend to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you think about, I, I've said this before, I mean, you know, if you get your, if you do a four year degree right out of high school, then you're, you what, 21 years old going mm -hmm. into the setting where you are having these conversations in the worst time in people's lives. And mm -hmm. it's so much more comfortable to avoid those conversations and we kind of in in especially in a culture where we have just been taught to avoid those conversations and like mm -hmm. you know it's it's just easier to focus on treating and and healing than to sit in that discomfort of of having somebody you know yeah. at the end of their life to, to ask somebody to do that at 21 years old you know it's it's so hard it's so difficult to process um and yeah. especially during covid i mean um mm. we've had we had so many new nurses brand new nurses out of nursing school you know leave the bedside because they just don't they didn't have the the tools to equip themselves to take care mm -hmm. of their own mental and also you know to like help facilitate those conversations and i think that there was a lot of like self doubt or you know am i doing the right Am I, am I doing this right? This seems really, you know, futile and wrong that we're doing all of these, you know, interventions on this, you know, 80, 90 plus mm. year old person, you know, trying to keep yeah. somebody alive. And yeah, it's, it's, it causes a lot of this, this whole topic just around, you know, the discomfort in having these conversations, I think causes a lot of burnout in nurses. Mm -hmm.